right uh, we got a question here the question is a toothed wheel of diameter 50 centimeter is attached to a smaller wheel of diameter 30 centimeter then the number of revolutions the smaller wheel will make when the larger one makes 15 revolutions is like toothed wheel means a wheel attached inside another wheel a small wheel attached inside another wheel it's pretty straightforward question like if you can compare these questions with uh, uh, like uh, what you call proportions direct and inverse proportions we can easily solve this problem now we know that like for example if there is only one wheel if there is only one wheel the number of rotations made by a wheel is given by distance traveled by 2 pi r distance traveled by 2 pi r that means it is very clear that the number of rotations is inversely proportional to radius because it is in denominator r is in denominator so number of rotations made by a wheel is inversely proportional to r that means number of rotations made by large wheel by number of rotations made by small wheel is equal to since it is inversely proportional r small will come radius of small wheel by radius of large wheel that's it so just remember this since n is inversely proportional to r so n1 by n2 is equal to r2 by r1 like we know that right uh, direct proportion inverse proportions so just i'm using that so here they are asking you find I mean a tooth wheel of diameter 50 centimeters attached to a smaller wheel of diameter 30 centimeters that means r1 is 25 centimeter radius of large wheel and r2 radius of smaller wheel is 15 centimeters given then the number of revolutions the smaller wheel will make that means they are asking n2 when the larger one makes 15 revolutions that means n1 is given as 15 so when large one makes 15 revolutions they are asking us to find the number of revolutions made by smaller wheel so which is given by number of revolutions made by large wheel is given as 15 and number of revolutions made by small wheel we need to find let it be n is equal to radius of small wheel is 15 and radius of large wheel is 25 so 15 15 gets cancelled when you cross multiply we'll get n is equal to 25 so as simple as that just remember this formula right thank you